This is NKU Best Practices using the Security Fortify Security Analysis Tool. Fortify uses a source code analysis method to detect security vulnerabilities in web applications. It can be used against a number of different languages, including Java, .NET, and PHP. The way it works is you click on Advanced Scan, then click on the directory that holds your application. Most of these options can be taken as is, so we'll just run the scan. This will take several minutes while it reads all the source code and conducts its analysis. Okay, so on the left panel here, uh, Fortify reports that we received several uh, security vulnerabilities. Um, mostly we're interested in removing critical ones. So the two critical ones are cross-site scripting and SQL injection. Now it tells you which files and which line numbers have uh, vulnerabilities. So you click on the file and it goes to that point. And you look over here and you can see that you have an echo of dollar $post. This is taking user input and repeating it directly back to the application, uh, the browser. The way that looks is suppose somebody just types in an HTML tag. The HTML tag is transmitted directly back to the browser unchanged. The other vulnerability is SQL injection. Now if you go to this line all there is it's echoing just a, a variable but you can go on the left side here and go up the uh, the analysis flow and come out here. And what's happened here is that you have taken user input and concatenated it directly into an SQL statement. The way this vulnerability shows up is suppose somebody just puts in a quote. You get a MySQL error. Unfortunately, these two types of errors are relatively straightforward to correct. In your source code, instead of echoing the uh, user input directly back to the screen, wrap it in a call to HTML entities. This will convert all of your tags into entities instead. So now your code comes back looking like this instead of with the HTML. The other security vulnerability was SQL injection. In this case, I've removed the use of the MySQL API and replaced it with MDB2. MDB2 has the advantage of using prepared statements, which is the best way to combat SQL injection. Uh, it also has the advantage of using the same API for every database. And what I've done here is in the place instead of concatenating in user input I've got this pseudo variable called colon color. I use this method to prepare the statement and then I create an array that associates each pseudo variable with the user input and then here I execute the statement and at that point the user input is substituted into the SQL statement in a safe manner. Then I fetch all the rows and return them. So let's see what Fortify does when I scan these changes.
Okay. Now, if I look in the on the left for critical errors, there are no more critical errors. So I've removed the cross-site scripting errors and the SQL injections by wrapping my user input in HTML entities before echoing it back to the browser and by using SQL prepared statements to avoid SQL injection attacks. This is best practices using the Fortify Security Analysis Tool.